Hello and welcome to AJ Script Media. Today I'm gonna show you Udo Theme Development version 15 from scratch. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to Part 1 Install Udo, set up PyCharm IDE, Udo configuration, create a new database, and select the theme. First, Click Community, click Documentation, click Installation, click Install Udo, click Source Install, click Mac OS. So first, we need to install Git. Click Download for Mac and choose Brew Install Git. Make sure you install Homebrew. You need to copy this, go to terminal, paste, and enter. After that, copy this and paste. Since I already installed Blue, so I don't need to do this. After installing Git, we will need to copy the code from Udo Community Edition using Git. This is the code of Udo Community Edition version 15. Since we already installed Git, we can use this command. First, open your folder. You want to copy the code. For me, under Tutorials, and then Udo. And then I will create a new folder. I will name it version 15. Open Terminal. And I need to go into this directory. Type cd in terminal and I will click and drag. Now I am in the current directory version 15. I will copy this code, paste. But since I want only version 15, I need to add some codes. Paste. And one more thing. I need to create a folder named Udo server. So since I am in the current directory, I can just put period and I need to add it in the folder I created, which is Udo server. Now it's cloning. So I will post the video and I'll come back after it's done. Now the community edition code was already finished. You can check here by clicking Udo server and we can see all the files are here. So next, we need to install Python. Let's go into their website, python.org. Click downloads. Select the operating system you will use. In my case, I will use Mac OS. And I will install Python 3.8. The requirement is it should be Python 3.7 or later. I have already done that, so all I need to do is to check my Python version. As you can see, I am using Python 3.8. You can also check your pip3 version, copy and paste. So I am using pip19. Point two point three. Next, we need to install PostgreSQL. So let's go to their website, PostgreSQL.org. Click download. Select the operating system you will use. In my case, I will use Mac OS. In this case, I will use. Postgres that up. Just follow the instruction, guys. In installing Postgres, after installing Postgres, you need to install PG Admin 4. I have already done that to show you. 
I have Postgres and PG Admin 4. Next, we need to install the dependencies in order for Udo to run. To check all the dependencies, go to py.py.pi.org. From here, you will see all the dependencies. To check all the requirements, we need to see the file requirements.txt. Inside Udo server, we have this txt file requirements.txt. All of these are present in this website. For example, docutils, it will show here. There's a tip here, we need to use virtual environment. To use virtual environment, we need to go into our terminal. And copy this code. Make sure you are in the current directory. So this is fine. Paste and enter. You can see that a new folder was created. This is the virtual environment. If you have issue in installing virtual environment, just go to the website and click this arrow, this link. Click installation. Next, we need to activate this virtual environment. To activate, copy. Now we activated this virtual environment because we see that there is Udo VNB on the left side. Let's go to the website, copy, paste, now we can install all the dependencies, copy, paste, since I added it in Udo server, so I need to type Udo server and enter. All the dependencies are installed. Next, we need to install RTL CSS. But before that, we need Node.js. Go to their website, nodejs.org, then click the recommended version. After installation, go back, copy, and paste. I have done that already, so I don't need to do it. After installation of RTLCSS, let's go back to the website. So the next now is running Udo. Instead of using command line arguments to run Udo, I will use PyCharm. But before that, let's make sure that Postgres is running. To check that, go to Postgres. Now it's already running. If you want to install another version, just click plus sign and select the version you want and create server. But here, I already installed version 13. If you want to stop, click stop. If you want to start, click start. You can also see the status here. Next, we will create a new user for our Postgres. To do that, let's open pgadmin4. Type your password. Click servers. Right-click on Login, Create, Login, and then I will name it AJS. Password, AJS. Privileges can log in and create database. Click Save. Now it's successfully created. Next, we will go back to our folder. And then... Create a new folder and this will be the name of your new project. I will name it your home. 
because this will be the theme that I will create. Next, open PyCharm. If you haven't installed PyCharm, just uh, search PyCharm. Click download in Community Edition. Let's go back to PyCharm. Click open. Open your project. For me, it's under Tutorials, Udo, version 15, your home. Click open. Make sure you delete main.py. Then we will create the Udo configuration. Right click, click new file, udo.conf, admin password 12345, db user ajs, password ajs, add on spot. It's under Users, MacBook Pro, Tutorials, Udo, version 15, Udo Server, Add-ons. Let's see. Next, we need to register the virtual environment we created in PyCharm. To do that, go to Preferences, Python Interpreter. By default, it was already added. If it's not added or it's not on the list, you need to click the settings and existing environment. Click this button. Refresh. Go to that directory. In my case, it's under users. MacBook Pro. Tutorials. Udo version 15, Udo VNV, Bean, Python 3. Okay. Click apply. And okay. Next, let's check the configuration. Edit configuration. Let's remove this and add new one. Click Python to make it uh, Udo. Script path. We need to go in version 15, Udo server, and select Udo bin. Next, the configuration file. Paste, checking, okay, then current directory version 15, it should be my project, which is your home. Open, click apply, and okay. Next, let's click run. You can see the log file here. Let's open the browser. Localhost 8069 because I added port 8069. Now it's showing database selector because we did not yet added a new database. So we have successfully installed Udo and it's running. Now we can create a new database. Let's type the master password. Database name. Your home. Email. Admin. Password admin. Demo data. Create database. 
you can see in the log file it is creating the database the installation is successful and the database was already created to verify go to pg admin 4 go to databases you can see that it was created your home let's go back to Udo. you can see all the apps listed here you see the main menu you have settings let me log out so in Udo, you have already the login to install application click install for example this website You can see in the log file it's installing. Now you will see this screen. Since we will build from scratch, so we need to click skip and start from scratch. Since we don't have any theme yet, so we need to use this theme default click use this theme now you have successfully installed the theme as you can see you can click and drag any blocks here for example you want a cover click and drag and click save next guys we will create a new theme and then we will edit the navigation the header and then the footer thank you and see you on the next tutorial